Hello everyone. In our previous session, we have learned about exponents. So, let's have a quick review of what we have learned. So, what do we mean by an exponent? Exponent is placed to the upper right corner of the base number and signifies how many times the base term is multiplied by itself. For example, 3 raised to the power 4. Here, 3 is base and 4 is an exponent. That means we have to multiply 3 for 4 times, that is, which is equal to 81. Let's take another example and try it yourself. If a fruit seller has mangoes, then how many mangoes did the fruit seller have? 2 raised to the power 5 means we have to multiply 2 for 5 times, which is equal to 32. Okay, now let's have a look at this question. Find the area of this rectangular playground. Now, here length is given as 3 raised to the power 3 meter and breadth as 3 raised to the power 2 meter. Well, we can see here that the length and breadth are given in exponent form. So, what will be the area of this playground? Length into breadth, right? So, 2, 4, 3 meter square. Friends, did you notice anything common here? Yes, you got it right. Here, the base is common, that is 3. Well, that means here we can see that 3 is multiplied 5 times. Therefore, can we write this as? Yes, we can. As 3 raised to the power 5 is ultimately equal to Let's take a few more examples to see that if this is true in all situations. Here, we can see that the bases are identical. Therefore, to multiply identical bases, we have to add the exponents. That is, for z raised to the power m into z raised to the power n, we'll have to multiply z for m plus n times. In the previous session, we have learned that m n n can be a positive integer and z can be any real number so this is our first law of exponent what will be 5 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 3 it will be 5 raised to the power 5 this was when we have to multiply identical bases. But what if we have identical exponents but different bases? Let's take few examples. Here we can see exponents are identical, right? So can we write 5 into 4 raised to the power 2? Yes, as we are getting the same solution. Next, if we have here we can see that the exponents are identical. Therefore, for identical exponents, we have to multiply the bases. Therefore, z raised to the power m multiplied by y raised to the power m which is equal to z into y raised to the power m. So this is our second law of exponent. What will be 2 raised to the power 2? multiplied by 7 raised to the power 2. It will be 14 raised to the power 2. Now moving ahead, this was when we have to multiply identical bases and identical exponents. But what if we have to divide identical bases? Let's see what will be the solution for the following examples. First example, or easier option to do this is, next, if we have, here we can see that the bases are identical. Therefore, to divide identical bases, we have to subtract the exponents. Therefore, z raised to the power m divided by z raised to the power n equal to z raised to the power m minus 
n so this is what our third law of exponent what will be 7 raised to the power 9 divided by 2 divided by 7 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 it will be 7 raised to the power 3 Now moving ahead let's see how we are going to find the solution if there are two or more exponents or when one exponent is raised to the other exponent for example if we have equal to 2 raised to the power 8 or easier option to do this is in such situations we have to multiply the exponent that is here we have to multiply 2 into 4 which is equal to 2 raised to the power 8 next example that is for z raised to the power m raised to the power n will have to multiply exponents that is z Raised to the power m into n. So this is what our fourth law of exponent. What will be sixteen raised to the power one divided by two raised to the power four. It will be sixteen raised to the power two. So till now we have seen four laws of exponents. Now moving further. Let's see what we get if the exponent of a particular number is one. For example, seven raised to the power one. Here, base is seven and exponent is one. That is, we have to multiply seven for only one time. Therefore, answer will be seven. Let's take another example. So here, in general, we can see that z raised to the power one. Equal to z. So this is what our fifth law of exponent. That is, any number raised to the power one is the same number. What will be twelve divided by four raised to the power one? It will be three. Okay this was when the exponent of the number was 1 but what we will get if the exponent is 0 solution will be 1 but why and how did we get 1 okay now according to our third law of exponent that is to divide identical bases we have to subtract the exponents right now what we will get if we divide the same number it will be One. Similarly, what will be the solution according to law? Five raised to the power zero, which is eventually equal to one. So remember, friends, any number raised to the power zero or any number whose exponent is zero, the solution will be one. You can take any number. Suppose that is z raised to the power zero equal to one. So this is what our sixth law of exponent. What will be hundred raised to the power one divided by hundred raised to the power one? It will be one. Till now we have observed that the exponents are positive. But what if we have negative exponents? Do we also get the value in negative? For example, if we have four raised to the power minus two, will it be equal to minus sixteen? No, friends. Most of us make mistake here. We think if the exponent is in negative, then the solution will also be in negative, which is incorrect. So, how do we solve this negative exponent? If the expression is in the form of a raised to the power minus n then it is the reciprocal of a raised to the power n that is a raised to the power minus n 
equal to 1 divided by a raised to the power n. That means a negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So can we write 4 raised to the power minus 2 as 1 divided by 4 raised to the power 2? Yes, we can. So the solution will be, okay, that is z raised to the power minus 1 equal to 1 divided by z, right? So this is what our 7th law of exponent. What will be 49 raised to the power minus 1? It will be 1 divided by 49. Here in our last law, we have also learned one more thing about the exponents. Can you guess what? Here the exponent is in the form of negative number. So here we can see that exponents can be any rational number also. So friends, let's have a quick review on laws of exponents that we have studied in this session. Now try to simplify the following on your own and write your answer in the comment box. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Do like this video and comment down any queries that you have. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tune.